I thought you said you put it out here by the lady's luggage. I don't see it out here anywhere. Where it should be. That's where I left it. Well, hell, it ain't here now. Somebody must have walked off with it. You'd be Miss Hannah Lund, wouldn't you? You advertised and I answered. Before this goes any further, we got some talking to do.
Set those down. Set them down. Well, for openers, Miss Lunn, you ain't no 25, are you? What else you lie about? I'm 32. You wrote in your letters you were 36, and I, and I thought if I told you the truth, you wouldn't be interested. Well, you're precisely right there. Furthermore, I got no use for a liar, especially a woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Everything else I wrote was true. Except you look on the long side of childbearing. I want children. I can have them. Can you? How do you know? Did you ever have any? I mean, I can't tell a thing by looking. There were no lies in my letters. Everything I wrote to you was true. It's rough where I live. No roads, no neighbors. I eat deer meat and beans. I spend all I make on cattle. That's my style. I got no mind to change. I work a seven day week. I don't expect a woman to marry to do the same. To come from my bed at night. You marry for keeps in this country. You go down that coast road with me and there's no turning back short of death. Cost you two dollars for the wedding. Same as anywhere. Is that all you bring? They lost my trunk in San Francisco. They said they'd ship it off. Sierra Nevada. You won't see it for another eight months. I came to get married. I stop up ahead at the Little Sur. We'll make a long noon in there. Gotta rest these beasts. Lies, but we got our own. Easy now. I understand how you might feel. That we're riding over those mountains.
He seemed to be a lonely man. He seemed to be a lonely man. You keep sticking your hand out like that and speaking up, you're going to meet a lot of them. I'm glad you're not a coast woman. You don't know the ways, so I'm only going to correct you once. Why didn't you marry a coast woman, Mr. Allen? Because the blood's all bad. Matches inside the door there. Wait. Wait. Wait, hell, I spoke you straight. I married you.
Get that fire started. I want some meat right off. Stop stirring that mush. Put it in a bowl. Don't have to do that. The spoon and the bowl and the table are the only clean things in this pigsty. Take your hat off. From now on, you'll wash your hands before you eat. Give me a full bowl here. I don't eat for fun. I asked you about your clothes like. Don't own one. If they ain't clothes dry, just hang them on the bushes out here like everyone else does. I told you, no frills in my way of life. No will it be any. I didn't ask for frills, Mr. Allen. 
But he's nice for things to be fun. I just want a place of my own where I can do my work. This house of yours is filthy and it stinks. I'm going to scrub it from top to bottom. And tomorrow I'm going to wash every piece of cloth. There aren't enough bushes in miles to fill my needs. I want the clothesline. You know, if I don't please you, 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 you know best what to do. Just... I told you what my way of life was. I got no taste to change either. But everything's changed. You did it. You answered my letters. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there for any back chat from you. You put a hand on me, and you'll have to kill me. As God is my witness, I will not be raped again. But that wasn't no rape! I paid my money for you! That wasn't no rape! Wasn't it? Ah! <laughs> I didn't send for no goddamn affliction.
You got a baby? No. Thank God. Thank God. What the hell do you think you're here for? My pleasure? I got these, the five sisters. They've been pleasure enough for me till now. I made it clear to you what I wanted. I don't know what the hell you expected. Nothing. I hope you find a friend. Friend? A friend is one that keeps their part of the bargain. You want a friend of me, give me the sums I asked for. Hand that over, Mel. I told you, this slop draws a piss out of men. Next time I throw it in your face. Pass me them beans, Andy. here did his best to ruin it, cutting it so it laid all wrong. But if a fart and rain don't come along and rot it, I'll get my pay out of it. Finish with that Southfield mill? Guess Mel ain't talking to his elders no more, huh? Yes, sir. That's good news. Barry in the north field's ready to cut. You swing cradle for me this afternoon. I'll, uh, I'll hold his quits on your meal. I thought I'd just swing on home, Pa. My, my wife's waiting for me. If you want your meal back, you just stop by for it sometime. Riding his new mare so hard, his tongue's loose. Break your mare in easy. Don't try to get any years of riding in a week. Mal will be going to the valley soon. He's the only one I... I born to... is man enough to break in a mountain. Something wrong. Don't understand her. Maybe you ought to think on putting in a garden. Sometimes growing things is a great comfort to a woman. My land's too good for 
farm and it's grazed land. You know all about healing and everything. I thought you'd fix me a yerba buena or something to take to her. Was something wrong with her? She's not looking, she's crying. She won't talk. She never smiles. You don't know nothing about marriage except from Paul and me. Well, that's enough. Tell you what I think she needs. She needs a good spring tonic. Maybe when the hay's in, I'll come visit. Well, suit yourself. Andy. Who are you? I just came by to meet your new wife. I didn't know when you'd be back. I've been taking Miss Cordova for a walk. It's a proper day for it. I was telling uh, Hannah here how good your place is looking. Yeah. I always did say what it needed was a woman's hand. Mm -hmm. You also told me I should do something with these um, circles ah. under my eyes. I didn't mean nothing. Well, that's what you said. No, I was just thinking that uh, a woman should look her best for her man, that's all. Mm. Well, you're right, though. I haven't been well lately. I know. It's my own fault. Sandy's trying hard to teach me how to ride. I keep falling off the horse all the time. And what about your bow, Miss Cordova? Why didn't you bring him? Looks like your sense is loose there, Maria. Must come from all that walking, huh? Yeah. I gotta be going anyway. It was a pleasure meeting you. Come back. Maybe. She's nice. Kind of pale, maybe. A stirrup. I don't think she knows about us, though. Well, that's not too hard to understand, since there's nothing to know. Yeah, well, I could tell her about all them times you try to peek up my skirts. When I was a young buck, I used to peek up a lot of things. My pa had a little black calf I used to peek up for a while, so I wouldn't feel too special if I was you.
died. <laughs> He's being a good head. So it was time to begin our marriage. You're over a month late, aren't you? We've been strangers for a month. Not according to the county of Monterey, William. You paid for a license. That's right. That made us man and wife. From now on, no turning back. I don't want to turn back. Sunny? You're damn right you don't. I chose you. I don't know who in the hell you are. Or who in the hell you think you are. But to me, you're Mrs. Allen from now on. You was the first woman I ever had. There's no doubt about that, son. Alexander. It helped that you were away for a while. Being alone, I mean. I came from my... I never had time to myself. Always other people's houses to take care of and plates to clean and other people's children to watch. Answer me. Child. This last month I've been so frightened. Of my son. Of the rape child. Rape children are simple-minded. Almost always. I kept thinking about taking care of it all my life. And it growing. I was so frightened. I was walking by the cliffs and I... I thought if I felt a child, I... I'd step to the edge.
morning. Did you walk in your sleep last night, Mr. Allen? I saw your tracks down by the spring. I saw your tracks down by the spring. Good morning, like you come 20 miles to see me. I traveled 2,000 miles to see you, and I haven't seen you yet. Saddle up, Ranger. I'll bring you back the skin for you and the boys if you're not too mangy. Come on. Sage poultice is what this leg needs. So in and then the sage to grow it. Bill, thank us. And Sung Hanley the first time. Walter. It's Miss Allen. Well, about time somebody met you, ma'am. Must the leg be sold? No, I just need a poultice on it. Uh, place is going to get private if you don't, Zandy. You boys done enough. I'll go on. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> look for yourself, ma'am. Damn it all, it needs is a polis. The needle and thread, Miss Allen, just like darn in the south, I'll help you. You finish here, going out there and rub salt on that bear skin, you know? Oh. <laughs> the reason 
me it's down here at all, Andy. was to invite you and your new bride here down to a barbecue come Thanksgiving down on the flats. <clears throat> Gallo told us to pass on the word to everybody. What do you say, Zandy? I don't think you can count on me. I've got, uh, got a lot of work to do. You know, with this here. Well, no excuses now. Me and Bill didn't come all this way just to hear any no's, did we, Bill? <laughs> Besides, he's gonna be dancing. <clears throat> I'd like to hear Miss Allen's opinion. It would be nice to <clears throat> see some of the people who live around here. <clears throat> Well, hell, you see me every day. How could you be lonely? Well, hell, that's a good argument for going. <laughs> I'm not prepared to talk about it right now. Hi, Mr. Pincus and Mr. Songer. Thank you. Miss uh, Clark. That's real nice work, Miss Dammer. Really shows a woman's touch. Keep saying no to that barbecue. You just cross your legs till he says aye. We're going to have a new Mr. Allen yelling around here come February. It's about time. That's good. I'll get him to help me with a roundup come spring. I'll have your breakfast ready soon. I have none of your breakfast. Just see the bed. Ride with you today? No, I don't want you to ride with me. You can blame me for losing it. I won't lose it. What if you do? Because you're old and worn out. I asked you right at first if you could have any. You said you could. So I'll give you a chance. All I want is what every man wants. All my working and planning. They all get what they want and I don't.
a half day already. You don't like it. Like it? I thought you cut your hair just to spite me, didn't you? I didn't cut it. I curled it with two nails. You're a hateful woman, you know that? You're just hateful. You lied to me, now you're gonna lie to the neighborhood, aren't you? Oh, with your curls and all your, all your fancy clothes, huh? You know, you look like a damn maiden harlot. No. Do you know that? Well, you get back in that house, and you don't come out until you're dressed decent, like you're supposed to be. Don't, don't, don't. Get in there! Go on! I did it for your own good. These folks here have been waiting months just to poke fun at you. This here's my, uh, my aunt and pa, and uh, there's my brother, Mel, there. Welcome to you. I was, uh, been meaning to come by, but I didn't have no horse. I hope you've been all right. She looks kind of sour, Zandy. Well, she's grown a child. I remember how I fared. I reckon you've been sick some. Yeah. So now you're out to make me look bad, huh? It's not the way things look. It's how they are. Hey, everybody, Zandy Allen brought the beef. Yeah. Don't settle for that fire, though. I cook my beef with the same care I raised it. Claro, Zandy. Hey, Zandy, how you doing? Is it Allen? Is it Allen? Was it Burmese, that sack you wrote, huh? <laughs> what you got there? Uh, ain't that something? I haven't had any cake in 10 years, I'll bet. Yeah, what's it for? You mean you ain't heard? No, and that don't irritate me none either. Well, if you want a little snort later on, we'll be here. What's wrong with you? I was doing it for your own good. And I told you these people around here just waiting to make fun of you. Sandy? Maria? Miss Allen. Say hello to Maria, Hannah. Hello, Miss Kosovo. It's Cordova, damn it. Respect you've heard my news. What is it around here? Nobody can talk straight anymore? I'm getting married in a week. Who's he? Tony Gallo. Well, I heard you badmouth him enough times. Not anymore. Not now that he's all grown and rich with a thousand head and half of hold on. <laughs> See that cake over there? He sends that for me. His brother, Frank, he's gonna come fetch me in a week. So, tonight is my 
farewell to the coast. What do you think, Sandy? I think that's your business. <laughs> what is this? What about your bow there, Miss Cordoba? <laughs> I don't think your hair looks so bad. No, thanks to you. Say something. You knew I was here. Oh, I like hell I did. Oh, you did. You did because I called you. I made you come. Tony Gallo, huh? You finally got somebody to go to the bushes with you. Shit on you. I die when you marry that woman. You're gonna look real funny over there at your wedding with a black eye. And that's where you're heading, Chica. Sandy, I don't want to go. Get off. Yeah, I don't want to go. It's getting chilly, Miss Allen. Now, you just tell me where you put your coat, and I'll get it for you. That's very kind of you, son. But I know right where it is.
market for some cattle? I'm always in the market. You drive them over, Frank, and I'll take a look at them. $10 a head, you, you take the delivery at my place. Get the horses in about ten minutes. Can you help me? Yes, ma'am. Hey, alguien para ayudarle a la señora? You ruined this place. Turned into a damn town lot. I turned it into a ranch, fit for a widow. 
I'll talk about that later. Get out of the way now. Drive my cattle through here. No. What do you mean, no? Not through my garden. Look to yourself, Hen. I'm coming through. Take the corral fence down. This is the stock gate, damn it! Now, I'm not going to ask you again. I drove these cattle all the way from Salinas just to please you. Now, get out of the way. I don't want to hurt you. Hannah, damn it, there's no time to fight. Now, come on, get out of the way. Hey, hey. Gonna be all right, Ma. No thanks to you if she is. She is just good and damn tired of being bullied by you, that's what. What are you getting on my back for? Clear out of here. You ain't no help. Got some milk here, Ma. This picture is almost bigger than that cow is. Never seen no cow like that. What kind of mixture is that? Ain't Spanish and Allen. She saw you with Maria Cordoba. She told me so. What are you talking about? She's through with you, Zandy. I don't blame her. That was the fever talking. She didn't see nothing. Understand why you're trying to scan on me so? Make 
can go away. You gonna take her word over now, Alice? I ain't no Alan. I'm a Jarvis. Them Jarvises lied all the time. It's the kind of reward I get then, huh? Bust my balls trying to get fresh blood from my stock. Over in that damn cursed valley. I got myself in a gunfight with a bunch of renegades. Got myself all blood poisoned and swollen. I was out for three months. I managed to drag my ass back over the mountain and uh, to find my wife here, just spreading lies about me. My own ma's against me. My ranch so damn worked over, I don't even recognize it. No place at all here for me. That's what I'm saying, Sandy. If it doesn't suit you, why don't you just leave? Maybe I will. There's just plenty of women like to have my sons. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry, Angel. I'm sorry. Hello, cowboys. Want to go to heaven for a buck? Outside, downside, your pleasure. I don't want to argue with you all. Don't look like you're getting it elsewhere.
fine stove. Our finest, in fact. Uh, my problem is, uh, I live up there in a big Sur country, and I have no way of getting home. You know? I suppose I could uh, ship it, pack it. Oh, no. This, this stove is especially built for frontier home. Look, let me show you something. Comes apart. your business. Hello, Sunday. I'll eat some soap before you. It's a child, Hannah. What child? Ours. It's long past any child's bedtime. You're dressed like that, Dad. I'm done with you telling me what to do. I do what I want now. 
Well, not as long as I'm around, you don't. No. I've been fine without you. Yeah, well, I know you have. I have. I said I know you have, damn it! You want me to go on out that door, just say the word, and I'll just go right on out there. You got the right to do that. But as long as I'm here, as long as there's any chance of us coming together, then we'll do what I think is right. What do you think? Yeah. You don't think. You don't know how. Now look, damn it, I'm, I'm trying. I'm... I'm learning. I just, uh, you got to give me some time. I remember what you said about needing a friend. I do. I remember that. And, uh, it's just like you remembered what I said that first day. I just want to forget and forgive, though. Really want to rub my face in it, don't you? I laid up with Maria. I know. I saw you. Here I am. <laughs> Why? Oh, Jesus, what do you think? I want you to tell me. Because I'm better off here. That blue's gonna look good on you, Hannah. Yeah. What's this? It's for Mom. It's out in the barn there. It's all in pieces. You have to put it together. I paid twelve dollars for that. I'm afraid I'm not doing this very well. Neither am I.
what's that? Twins? Of course. What else? <laughs> no man on the coast ever had two boys at once. A boy and a girl. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, a girl, huh? I don't have enough milk. If it hadn't been for the cow, I would have lost both of them. I never would grudge you no cow if I didn't have a good purpose for her. You give me a cow, just like you gave me a clothesline. I spend all I make on cattle. I have a seven-day week, no frills. That's my style. All right. All right. Thank you. 